Welcome to our live training session number 12, part three. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at working with our boost by gear feature, as well as further modifying our fuel and ignition timing tables as we increase the boost. We're gonna have a lot to learn, so let's jump into the live session so we can get started. Welcome back to our live training session here with our EK hatch with our S300. Now in the last video, we set up and tuned our wastegate spring level here on E85. Now we hit about 550 horsepower and we were boost creeping from about six to eight pounds off the wastegate spring all the way up to about 15, 16 pounds of boost when we got to 9,000 RPM. So we have went in and successfully dialed fuel and ignition and our VTEC point. Now I set the VTEC point at 5,900 um, and that was just based on experience of doing a lot of cars with these cams. So if you're using pro ones, this will be a solid starting point right here to use. Um, you can't even hear or distinguish when it switches over into the high cam um, because of the settings that I have here. And again, that's because I've just done a lot of cars with these cams. So that'll give you solid starting point. So now let's jump in and turn up the boost. So that's going to be the next step here. And we've kind of taken things in layers with this tuning session. Um, we went in, we first tuned the fuel and we kept it out of uh, closed loop. Then we turned on the closed loop and we ran through and checked everything. Then we optimized our spark timing and we ran through the spark timing table. And then we went in on the low cam and then we went in, did our low cam uh, boost pulls. We set up our fuel, then we set up our spark. Then we went in, set our VTEC point up, then we dialed in fuel and spark, and that's where we're at right now. So we're gonna add another layer to this with the boost control, and then we're gonna be able to just tweak the boost levels, keep increasing it, making sure our fuel delivery is good, making sure that we get our spark timing optimized, and we make the most power that we can. Now, I don't know exactly what power we're gonna make, but based on the engine setup that we have here and the turbo size we have, we have a Borg Warner S300, uh, S362 SXE turbo, we should be making anywhere between seven to 800 horsepower. And that's probably gonna be um, about where the fuel system is going to be maxing out with a single fuel pump in the 1700. So we're gonna see where we end up at. I'm not gonna be pushing it to the absolute edge, but I definitely wanna make good power with this. So let's jump in here to parameters and let's turn on our boost control because that's gonna be the next step or the next layer we're gonna to add to this tune. Let's go here to boost control. We're gonna go in here and turn it on. Now we're gonna say maximum boost is going to be um, here at 100% duty cycle. Uh, we're gonna go here and just set up gear based duty cycle in our table and then activation pressure, I'm gonna be changing this to two PSI. And looking down the rest of our setup here, we see our air temp corrections. We can leave those alone right now. We're not gonna do anything with throttle position and quick spool is something we will explore, but we're gonna be leaving it alone um, at this moment. So what I'm gonna do with the values in the table here, we can see it's gonna be based on gear we can see all the way up through fifth gear, first through fifth, as well as engine RPM. Now let's go and re-index our breakpoints here and our boost by gear table because we want to be a little bit more specific with this. Um, we're going to be controlling it or probably revving this engine between nine and 10,000 so we can leave our last breakpoints alone. But on the bottom end here, I'm not going to be building boost to uh, probably about five or 6,000 on this particular setup. So I don't need a whole lot of breakpoints down below that. Let's go in here and be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to set up my breakpoint here at 7,000. I'll set one here at, uh, or 7,500, I should say, one at 7,000. Let's do one here at 6,500. Let's do one here at 6,000. Let's do one here at 5,500. Let's do one here at 5,000. And then do one here at 4,000. And that'll be good. That'll be a nice spread of RPM. So if we want to be very specific in the way we're controlling our boost with the duty cycle, we have the resolution in our boost by gear table now to do that. So um, what I am going to do is highlight the entire table, Control J, and then I'm going to be going here